think it was that. Uh, mm, no, that's just off recollection. So that's what you're aiming for, really, for lap times. Now we'll watch this again. Obviously, the breaking points increased greatly for the first corner. It's a very sharp corner. Uh, just a key trick here, actually. Uh, where the line dents and comes to the to meet the track, that's your first breaking point if you ever get into any car on the track. If you're doing testing, always use that as your first breaking point to figure out where the car is. So obviously, if you break at the 100 meters marker and you go wide, well, you can use that as well. But this one, you're going to make the corner, but then you can see how much distance you can use, like develop in whether you need a bit more breaking point or a bit less uh, but yeah uh, we'll just have a look now so you see I saw I broke at the 100 meter marker and it's just the same thing again I didn't use any of that time at that time I was very far wide and look how much of this I use come to the inside much inside that I got a very good line out of there to see yeah, my split very low 19 Third gear. I was see see the bumps there. That was the key. I'm gonna rewind that actually. Just, just for you there. You saw the bumps and uh, yeah. Sorry about this. This is the player I use. Um, so if you watch here, you can see the bumps pushing me left. It just wants to push me off the track. And that's because I've come on the very deep. I've come in the corner very deep. I've not gone wide and then in. Now this is obviously meant that it's compromised the lap slightly. But look, look there, I've had to slow down so much to make the car get round the corner. <coughs> so once again we uh, put that to the hairpin, try and use as much of the left side as possible. I've slowed down a bit too much there as well. Now it's mid-33 it's going to be. And uh, as you can see there, that's because of the two corners that got compromised. The, uh, the right-hander before the straight before the hairpin. Uh, with the bumps in, I had slowed down quite a lot there in comparison to other laps. And the hairpin, I was a bit wide. So I had to slow down even more. I got, I got a, um, a much worse uh, acceleration out the corner. And therefore, I've got less speed going through this next uh, section of track. So obviously, remember, stay in the middle of the track if you're unsure, as you saw there. I used a bit more of the curb this time. So we're about to break again obviously, this is, oh, I'm pretty sure I should do this in third gear. If I go second gear again, just try that. You never know, remember in, all the inside curb, all the outside curb would be the best effect. If you use any, I've gone completely wide, I've gone completely off the track. So now obviously look, I'm totally um, offline now for this next corner. So I'm going to have to slow down considerably. So this is quite a poor lap. But obviously remember I've done that chicane trick, um, which you'll see in a second. So my speed will greatly increase across there. So obviously I'm going to have to slow down a lot here just to get around the corner because I'm already on the corner basically and I'm basically further right of the corner than the corner itself so uh, you'll just see that now. <coughs> there you go, you saw it, I had to brake and the car was constantly trying to grip out in the 100 meter and look how fast I do this corner now, look at that. So the little jump, I've got a lot more speed, I think that's a 100 kilometers that should be it now at this point, but look where I'm at, I'm 145, well 144, 145. And then coming to the last corner. Gone wide again. But that actually came to save me so much trouble. So there we go, a one a one three point two one seven. So obviously you can get a one minute two lap time because that was a very poor lap with the bumps, wide at the hairpin, uh, very wide at the uh, left right before the back straight. So yeah, that's what you're kind of aiming to do on the uh, the track. So key things to uh, note are the tarmac areas that you can use. So uh, obviously the one at the first corner, it's not very big, but obviously it's still a, a bonus. The second corner, which is huge and gives you a very good line for the third corner, which is the uh, uh, left-hander. And then the fourth corner, which is the right-hander, going onto the straight for the first split. It's a tarmac again. But remember, just before that, you want a very wide line in. Get the most speed out the corner. Uh, then you have to be aware of the bumps on the sixth corner, the right-hander. Uh, the hairpin, the grids. And then we want the chicane trick, obviously. Uh, smash through the barriers first hand. And uh, second time, you've got a much faster line through the uh, corner. 
Uh, sorry if that was a bit rushed, but I generally can't remember everything, obviously, because it was so long ago. I could go back on, but yeah. Uh, th th there's not much point in me uh, doing that at the moment. I can actually do a rerun if it's wanted, just post in the comments below, of the uh, of, a, of the tutorial, because obviously I've got a new account uh, for GT League, GT League Tishney. So um, I'll be doing it again, but that's just time on my wheel. Uh, but yeah, I know I can get much faster times on my wheel anyway. So yeah, uh, I hope that helps at some point. And sorry again if that was a bit rushed or too quick speaking. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll also be putting the Monza one up as soon as possible as well. So yeah, cheers. Thanks a lot. Bye.